There are multiple types of sounds that your Android smartphone and tablet can play. For a phone, by default, you have the ringtone volume level, which is for your calls, your text messages. But you also have things such as your media volume, which is for things like your music streaming applications, your game volumes, and then you have another one for your alarms. And this is again, that's for any type of alarm that you set, whether it be a third party application or something like the clock application that's built into Android. So each of these has its own volume slider and it can be annoying sometimes to want to adjust a specific volume slider having to press a volume button tap that down arrow and then adjust the volume slider for whatever you want thankfully there's an application out there called volume sync that will synchronize all of your volume levels or synchronize specific volume levels that you specify. This is a free third-party application from the Play Store and I'll have a link to that in the full tutorial which will be shown underneath the video in the description. Once you download this all you need to do is launch it. You can see it's a very simple application. We have an on-off toggle at the very top And then in some later versions of Android, there are battery optimizations that will cut off an application whenever it has been running in the background and you haven't launched it in a long time. So if you enable this volume sync and then just press the home button in two, three, maybe four weeks, Android will say, well, he hasn't launched this volume sync application, even if you're using it actively. So we need to kill it from being ran in the background. So there's a couple ways to prevent that. One, we can use the run in foreground toggle, which will add an undismissible notification right here. If you do not have that open on, then you will not see that notification. And you can also, again, disable battery optimizations for that app, and this application gives you a quick and easy shortcut right there. You can just tap that, and then you can choose if you want to let this application always run in the background or not. Once you have it set up that way, you can look at these additional toggles down here. We have one for our in-call volume, our alarm volume, our system volume, for things such as ringtones and such. Then our media volume, which again is for the applications that we download from music streaming to mobile games. And then we have the notification volume for just simple notifications that we get in. So if you want these all synced, you can leave them all toggled on right there, but say if you want to keep the in-call volume at a certain level, you can toggle that off. So this time, whenever you toggle the volume up and down, the in-call volume will never be adjusted. Very useful feature. And you can actually see this feature in action by expanding the volume. So we're defaultly adjusting the ring volume. Our volume sync application notices that we've changed the volume and then it synchronizes all other volume levels to what we have just changed. 